Oh, hey, how are you? You caught me. I was just in the middle of decorating for Valentine's Day. I have all these bunch of little hearts that I cut out of paper, and it took me a really long time. So what do you think? Ah, oh, thanks. It was nothing. Well, this is perfect timing. I'm glad you guys are here because I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day illustration today. Oh, but before we get started, I actually learned something really cool that I wanted to share with you about Valentine's Day. All right, so get this. The word Valentine in Valentine's Day is actually the name of a person named Saint Valentine. He's recognized in the Catholic Church as a patron saint who died over 1,500 years ago. There are a lot of different stories about what he did, but most people believe that he was a Roman priest who helped couples get married even when it wasn't allowed. Apparently, the emperor of Rome at the time, Claudius II, banned marriage because he thought men who weren't married would make better soldiers. So Valentine secretly performed marriages for couples in love, then was eventually caught and killed because of it. And the day he was killed? February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. But right before that, when he was in prison, he wrote a letter to a woman he loved, and that is thought to be the very first Valentine ever given. How cool is that? So Valentine's Day became a holiday because of a guy who helped people who were in love get married. That makes the holiday make way more sense. You know, with all the hearts and flowers and things. So hopefully you found that interesting. I sure did. But now I think I'm ready to get drawing. Are you? Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw a Valentine's Day bear today. All you're going to need is a clean sheet of paper, a nice sharp pencil, an eraser, a dark marker or a pen, and of course, something to color with. All right, well, let's start by drawing our cuddly little teddy bear that's gonna be holding a giant heart. Now, if you've never drawn a heart before, they're actually not that hard. It seems kind of difficult, but I got this little heart right here. And you can see if we break it down into basic shapes, it's not that bad. So if you think about it, there's a circle here, and there's a circle here. We could draw a line down the middle to make sure we know where the middle is, and then we can just connect the lines to that point at the bottom. That's it. So if you're going to be drawing your own heart, let's start with the heart first, I think. I'm going to draw a circle here, and then I'm going to draw another circle connected to it, like that. And then I would draw maybe the line down the middle really, really soft. And then we'll just kind of go off of this curve and just go straight down there. See, it's not that bad. And then if you go ahead and just erase the middle, you have a heart. It's not too bad, huh? Okay, well, cool. So now that you got your heart, then we got to draw the rest of the bear sitting around it. So, all right, so notice that I moved the heart over to the left a little bit. I didn't draw it straight in the middle because we're going to have an arm over here of our bear. So let's draw the head next. I think that would probably be the make the most sense. So I'm going to draw kind of an oval shape, but I'm not going to draw it too hard because I don't want that to be the final shape of it. It's going to be a little bit different at the end, but I'll show you right about here. So draw like a, like a big oval shape. He's going to have a big head. <laughs> now let's work on maybe doing the arm that comes around the side. So we're going to have maybe right about here and we're going to have the arm loop back around like this. And then I'll just go overlap the heart a little bit. And there we go. Got one little arm wrapped around the heart. And then this gets kind of confusing when you're drawing. So if you need to erase some lines as you go, that would be a good idea. Because sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, I drew way too many lines. And it gets a little messy. Oh, see, there's another one, another overlapping line. And I do that because it's easier to kind of draw through things than try to go stop, start, stop, start. It's hard to get that fluid motion when you're just trying to make a just a basic shape or a really smooth line. So now we're going to go and go to the top here. Let's add the other hand. It's kind of hidden over here. And you can kind of draw almost just a little circle, maybe a little bit bigger to match the other one. We'll go a little wider, a little wider right there. Now, I've got to put the little feet on there. I'm going to do almost like a, let's see, maybe like this right here. Do a little oval right down here, maybe a little bigger. And then we'll draw another oval right here. We're going to kind of angle them just ever so slightly. Kind of sitting with his legs sticking out. Look how cute he already looks. This is going to be fun. Now I got to connect the, the, the feet to his body. So we're just going to kind of go like this and like this. There we go. 
Okay, so if you wanna make those feet bigger, or smaller, you can do that. If you want them to overlap, you can do whatever you want on yours, of course. So I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna work on the ears. So let's do those ears real quick. Now, how do you draw bear ears? I kind of draw them almost, you could just draw circles or you could have, or half circles, or you can draw them like I'm doing them, which is a little bit more kind of squared off. That's just how I like to draw my ears sometimes. Oh, got this little head tilted to the side. This could be a really fun uh, Valentine's Day card if you made it right. Then in the middle, you could write a little note there to whoever you're giving it to. How fun would that be, a little Valentine's Day drawing? That'd be a fun gift. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, let's figure out where the nose is. I'm gonna put the nose a little bit higher up, right about here. And we're gonna do a big nose, just a big oval. Then we'll draw a little line right there. That's how, that's how their mouths are, with little bears. And then we're going to go make him a happy little guy. He's a happy little bear, look at that. Okay, so bears have like a snout, so it goes out, and it's, sometimes it can be a different color. So I'm gonna make that a little circle around this area to kind of show that it's the, the snout area. Okay, so now we did a great job on that, and I think we wanna do the eyes next. And you can draw your eyes however you want. I'm gonna draw these big little bead-like eyes. Like it's a little toy bear. Oh, Maybe these little, maybe little circles there too for the cheeks. <laughs> it's already looking so cute. And then I'll probably fill these in. We don't have to do this now, but I'm just gonna give you a little heads up. So I'm probably gonna do these darker color, maybe black even, and then I might even just do a little highlight here on the eyes. I might do a little highlight there where I don't color it all the way in. And I leave like a little, little circles undone so it looks like it's kind of shining off there and makes it look even cuter. That'd be kind of fun. And then maybe we'll do this uh, ear right here. Just copy what you did on there and just make it a little bit smaller on the inside. And that'd be the inside of your bear's ear. I want to give mine a cute little tuft of hair on the top. <laughs> See, now we get to add little fun details. This is, where, this is the fun part. Once you have your structure and you've built your basic shapes, then you just get to have fun. You get to clean up your sketch a little bit. And you can start realizing, okay, well, I don't want some of these lines here. I don't want the lines going through here because the hand is, or the paw, I should say, is on top of the heart and not under the heart. And then I'm gonna go right there, gonna draw little, little lines. This as well is probably something I can erase, this is the inside line here, right there. And then I'm gonna draw another circle inside of here to show the bottom sole of the foot of our bear, like that, aw, there we go. And I thought it might be kind of cute on the inside, maybe, to even do little little hearts instead of a circle there for the little paw prints. And I might do it like something like that. I think that's kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, but that's a little bit small. <laughs> it's okay to mess up. That's the that's the great part about drawing is that you get to keep fiddling with it. Well, I guess in all all art, you gotta keep fiddling with it until you're, you're comfortable with how it looks. Now again, it's getting a little messy out here, so let me clean it up so that way it'll help you see it as well. I'm gonna clean up my lines before I go to the next step, which is going to be filling it all in with a marker or a dark pen. I like to do my outlines with a dark, a dark color so that it's clear enough to see there. All right, does this look good? I think so. Maybe I'm gonna shorten that arm a little bit. It looks a little bit too wide. Okay, again, fussing a little bit. Maybe we'll add a few more little hearts on the side. Maybe all around our little, little bear friend. And we'll do another one right over here. Oh my goodness, he's looking so fun. All right, so the next step is we need to color this in or uh, outline this with a dark marker. 
All right, so I finished the outline. Now you'll notice that I didn't outline around the snout. That was just a personal choice. I think I'm gonna do that with color. I'm gonna do a lighter color for that part. And then I just didn't wanna to do too many lines. Sometimes it gets a little messy or too heavy. So that's why I decided not to do it. It's okay if you did. All right, so the next part is coloring. I am so excited. I'm gonna be using my markers. Use whatever you would like. And then I'm gonna go through before I color is just make sure I erase all of my sketch over top of here so that it doesn't show through my colors. I'm so happy with how he turned out. He looks all cute and cuddly and all Valentine's y. <laughs> this looks really fun. I hope yours turned out great as well. But before you are completely finished, what do you have to do? That's right, you need to sign your name on there so everybody knows who it was from or who made it. There we go, now it's official. That was so much fun. How did yours turn out? Awesome. Well, if you think that yours looks a little different than mine, that's okay. That means that you made it your way and that's awesome. Well, that's our class today, but if you want to learn and draw some more, this class actually isn't over. I still want to show you some coloring tips, give you a coloring sheet that you can download, and even do one more bonus Valentine's Day drawing. You can do all that in the full episode over at bravekidsartclub.com. Well, before you go, remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. We'll see you next time.